bring to justice the killers of his father. Mrs. Patterson lived here under the threat of the machine, and she can answer our question as to what life was then like. We go now to her home. How many free elections and honest elections have you experienced here, Mrs. Patterson? Well, I've never experienced any free elections here until this cleanup we had a little city election. Now, what about John? Do you worry about John's future at all? Do you think that he may be threatened by the machine the way Mr. Patterson was? Well, uh, I don't think he will be hurt anyway. This is, I believe he's all right. Do you think that uh, there's no offered, no chance of him being treated the way your husband was? Well, I hope there's no chance. Mrs. Patterson, you're obviously a woman of great courage. You've had the strength to carry on. Where did that courage come from? Well, Mr. Roberts, <clears throat> I suppose I got the courage from being in this fight so long. And we had friends that were really doing their best to try to help make our town a clean place to live in our state. And I had sons, and of course I wanted them to have a chance. And we have good people in this town. And they were under bondage and they had to have freedom. And it just took, it, it took something terrible to get people to wake up. And, and I think if the good people of America could, could take a lesson from this, they'd always be on the alert and uh, go to the polls and vote and do everything they can to make a good America. For the past few minutes, we have been dealing in fact. Fact about the Phoenix City story. The people with whom we have talked are real people. The people involved in what has been described as an infamous and sordid chapter in American city politics. There has been no careful rehearsal of speech, no careful phrasing. People have spoken from the mind and from the heart as they felt they should. We have been with our microphone and our camera on the streets of Phoenix City, Alabama, and uh, at the Jefferson County Courthouse in Birmingham, Alabama, where the second in the series